we go down to a, a highway that suddenly goes from four lanes to one lane. That's frustrating. And we're doing a research project, so we, we plant stick Picard and stick Spock at these two locations, and we give them each one of those counters that the greeter at Walmart has. And stick Picard and stick Spock count each car that goes past them. They do that from morning till night, till midnight. How do the two numbers on their two counters compare? Who's got the bigger number? They gotta have the same number or else some of those cars were being beamed up to the Enterprise, right? <laughs> yeah, they gotta, whatever went, through, went past Picard has to go past Spock. What is different is the speed. Over here, where they're all waiting for their turn, they're barely moving, they're honking, but they're barely moving. And then when they finally get to the place where they can start going, they go zoom, right past Spock, okay? You've all been in this traffic jam before. Now, we're not interested in, in highway dynamics or the motion of cars. We're talking about fluids, okay? So let's replace this highway with a pipe. And that pipe goes from a fat pipe to a skinny pipe. And we're going to look at a liquid going through that pipe. And it's going to be a chunky liquid. Now those of you from New Jersey know what I'm talking about. Okay? And I choose a chunky liquid because I want to concentrate on that chunk there. That chunk right there was going slow, waiting its turn. It's about to go really fast, past Spock. That means that chunk is being accelerated to the right. Now the only way I can accelerate that chunk to the right is if it has a high pressure behind it and a low pressure in front of it. Now look at the trade-off here. Where the speed is small, the pressure is large. Where the speed is great, the pressure is small. This is what keeps airplanes in the air. And it's called Bernoulli's equation. Uh, Daniel Bernoulli, also a mathematician, gave us this equation that relates the pressure at any point in a fluid to the speed in that same fluid. Now this is a simplified version of his equation, assuming that everything happens on the same level. If one part uh, of the liquid is at a higher level, we need another term in here. But this is going to be all that we need here. What that means is that whenever I've got a high pressure, I have a low speed, and vice versa. Now, we've seen this in this class before. We just didn't recognize it. On the second day of class, I showed you this little truck. <coughs> And you remember, on the second day of class, that was just magic. And that was just my way of saying, this class is going to be magic. <laughs> but what's happening here is that this little smokestack is actually blowing air. And so this little styrofoam ball sees a region right above the stack, the stack that has a velocity. A velocity means a low pressure. The rest of the air in the room is not moving, so that's a high pressure. So anytime this ball wants to get out of the stream, it's going from a low pressure region to a high pressure region. 